Simply Being, No Experience. Uploaded to Eerowid by Matty on September 26, 2003. I don't really know how to describe my experience. For one thing, describing any psychedelic experience is difficult, especially to naive people. And on the other hand, to have an experience, there must be a self present to have it. Paradoxically, the whole thing is rather simple. In college, a good friend of mine was deeply interested in psychedelics. When I met him, I knew virtually nothing about the drugs. I'd never tried them, and would never even think about using them. I was naive, and like so many people, the idea of using drugs was reproachable. It just so happened that during the week of spring break, I came home, and his order of DPT had come in that very day. I walked over to his apartment that evening, not thinking that I would ever try DPT that very night, but knowing that it was a possibility. His apartment was a studio, meaning very small, but well lit with soft lights and a cosy atmosphere. We discussed DPT, and I read up about it in his decent collection of books. It was my decision to make, and I wanted to make an informed one. Anyway, to cut to the point, after almost three hours of indecision and debate within myself, I bent down, took the rolled paper, and did my first line ever. Now, you have to remember that at that point in time, I had never even tried marijuana, so doing DPT was a major step in risk for me. He had taken his 100 milligrams about an hour before me, and he was puking in the bathroom not long after. I was happy that I had very little in my stomach. I wiped my nose, settled down on the floor, and waited for the effects to transpire. The first thing I noticed was a change in light. No, actually, it wasn't quite a change in light, but rather, I was merely noticing the pattern of light thrown on the wall. This was about 10 minutes after insufflation, and then things started happening very fast. I looked up, and the rectangular pattern carved in the door started popping in and out, which startled me. The field at the sides of my vision became blurry. My whole vision itself started to move and pulsate, and do all kinds of things I had only read about. I wasn't vomiting and had no other adverse effects, but quite frankly I was freaked out. I sat there against the wall, wanting everything to stop, when suddenly I got stuck in time. I thought to myself, this is never going to stop, and if that wasn't bad enough, I continued my errors. If it's never going to end, did it ever begin? I stood up, tried to calm down and went to drink some water. So at this point, I could still function properly and take care of myself. That was a good sign. Where to go from here, I thought. And the obvious answer was to lay down and relax. After laying on the floor, things in my memory became unclear as to what happened next. What is clear to me is that there was a complete annihilation of any remnants of a me, an I with a name and a past, and fears and worries and regrets, and hopes and dreams. Let me also make it clear that this happened swiftly and without struggle. In one moment that I was cleared out and swept away, with no shred of self left. There was no fear of dying or losing oneself, because in order for there to be fear, there must be that me or I. Therefore, how do I call this an experience? I was no more. Dead. Gone. Out to lunch. And I was replaced with and this is the thing that is not very clear at all and impossible to describe. Pure energy. There was simply energy and nothing more. I circumnavigated the earth countless times. Well, in fact, I was the world, and it was me. After peaking, about an hour and a half after insufflation, I do remember sort of popping up into my body to make sure that it was not in trouble. I wear hard contact lenses, and I'm always concerned about losing them so I never really lost contact with my body or awareness of my body's needs during the whole time. I was not unconscious. Slowly, perceptibly, I floated back down, passed through a nice period of warm bliss, and then came back into my normal baseline state of being. And as I did, I watched my old ways and mental habits fall back into place, as I knew and expected they would. I was truly reborn into the world, and for a while at least, the environment around me was new, fascinating, almost surreal. 
From beginning to end, about three to four hours had passed. The next day, I doubted whether or not what happened was real, or whether or not it was a true glimpse into reality. My doubts were shattered when two weeks later I had the same experience, although I didn't panic in the beginning. The second trip was nearly identical, except for the beginning and end. I ended the second DPT experience with an excursion to a club, but that's a story for another time. What were the after effects? Before trying DPT, I sort of had a notion that I would somehow feel dirty afterwards. I can tell you now that I have never felt cleaner in my entire life. A thousand baths couldn't have made me feel cleaner. For the next week, I was able to appreciate the birds and the trees and the bright blue sky on a higher scale than I ever knew. That experience still affects me to this day, and not many days go by that I don't think about it. I've told few people about this, and very few of them would understand. What do I think of it all now? A door was opened, a door was closed. I know that it will be opened again. Breakfast of the Gods Uploaded to Eerowid by Dr. Wiley on September 21st, 2011 It came about on a bright May morning that I decided to take another psychedelic attempt at my new fascination at the time, DPT. I awoke at about 10am and I realised the day was upon me that I must deepen my psyche and I had acquired this strange powder from a friend a few weeks ago. I've been dying to give it another try. Previously, my buddy and I had done DBT, and the dose I took was way too strong. The hallucinations were overwhelming, both with eyes open and closed. The latter were much more elaborate and unfolding, and were easier to integrate into my mind. Words always fail to accurately describe vivid hallucinations, because as always, one must experience the madness first hand to truly know. I will try to articulate my mind's eye. With eyes open sitting in a chair in my living room, where these two walls meet with the ceiling, there ceased to be an external meeting of right angles. However, they protruded outwards into my visual field. The corners of the room were coming straight for me, and I couldn't escape. No amount of marijuana or music could soothe this madness I was going through. No sleep for the wicked. With eyes closed, I sat back in my chair and felt as though I was in the clouds, floating in a purely meditative state. Visuals of figures mimicking myself floated past me on mountaintops. I felt as if I was doing front and back flips simultaneously, which was such a strange paradoxical feeling. There was pure beauty everywhere, straight up Alex Gray shit. After hours of mental pleasure slash torture, I was gradually allowed to regain my consciousness by some divine force, for I was not in control of myself at the time. Now, on to today's experience. I woke early around 10am and ripped a huge line of DPT, roughly 100 to 150 milligrams. I jumped into the shower with the hopes that by the time it was done, I would be tripping face. Toward the end of the shower, I started getting tremors in my limbs, and I knew it was been for something very infinitely interesting. I quickly got out of the shower and got dressed, and started blasting mellow STS9 out of my amp, and laid down for the effects to override my mind. Within minutes, my closed eye visuals were changing with every note and transition of the song. It was amazing. I strongly recommend closing the eyes and taking in music while on DPT. All my thoughts flowed of the music. Everything in my mind, everything from this day back to my childhood, raced through my mind. Everyone I'd ever met, had fun with, screwed over, laughed with, cried with, and especially cried over, were flowing through my mind like an endless stream. However, this stream was made entirely of grains of sand, each grain being an aspect of my life which had affected others in positive, negative, and neutral ways. Very spiritual, very overwhelming, very necessary. I'd recently been in a serious car crash in which I went through the windshield, and this was like a beacon in my mind for a perfect second chance at life. I cherished every minute of life, and I would, as the DPT showed me, cherish every single day Every moment, every interaction, every action and reaction. A perfect paradoxical mindfuck. Life is great, and there is no need to be afraid to do anything you set your mind to, as you are the only one who can create that action through your potential cooped up inside you. 
Just gotta let it out. No need to hide the funk. Let it flow. After about three hours of intrinsic thought, I gradually went outside and went for a walk. The day was sunny and warm. The trees, plants, birds and people, they all seemed to vibrate with this vivid energy. It's so hard to explain though, I wish you were there. On the walk, I saw an old dog and I stopped to pet him. He seemed to talk to me in a silent tone and I understood his life story. Nice fellow. I gradually made my way to Wawa and got a necessary drink since the drip was chemically nasty as fuck. Walked around admiring the rest of the street for about an hour and then eventually went back to my apartment to mellow out, possibly write this report. At the moment I am baseline and writing all of this still seems like it didn't capture the essence of my entire experience. However, I implore you to try a hefty dose of DPT for yourself and try to articulate what just happened to you. It's virtually impossible. All in all, this dose was perfect for me because it was purely intrinsic and thought provoking, which was exactly what I was looking for. Earlier when I was faced, I texted my friend, DPT for breakfast, and he just responded with, breakfast of the gods. I hope to dine with the gods soon enough, but until then, live your life. Coming apart perfectly, uploaded to Irrowid by Luke on January 5th, 2004. Whoa. Today has been the most incredible day I've ever experienced, or at least one of them. DPT has got to be the most amazing drug that I've ever experienced, and is something to be worshipped. My fear and humble respect are given to this drug, and the doors that it opens into myself. The awesome power that this drug has shown me is incredible. I've seen visuals unlike any I've ever seen before, and I tripped unlike I've ever had before. Began after 60mg insufflated extremely intense, into thinking about being attacked by Egyptian giants, provoked by thinking about the Discovery Channel, and then thinking about what awesome alien gods that the Egyptians must have worshipped to build such great scary structures of giant cats, very weird trip to think about. Eventually, I sat on my bed and was able to somewhat gather myself, noticing that it seemed like I was sunken into my bed, to the point that I was actually part of it. This is when the best part of the trip began. This most awesome sense of respect and understanding occurred within me. I began to discover my own potential, because I've never been able to see myself just as I see myself like this. The state I was in was superhuman, and I could have been levitating off of my bed and I wouldn't have been surprised in the least. It felt like molecules were separating and I was one with everything. Then I observed my dresser and patterns of eyeballs inside of it. These were visuals beyond anything I've ever seen. I was connected to the universe unlike in any way that I've ever known, and it felt like I was communicating physically with dead spirits, and this led me to concluding that I was face to face with death itself. I felt a hollowness around me that scared the living shit out of me. These faces of torment began to appear in front of me, and this was a learning experience that actually made me feel inner pain for the awesome nature of death itself and to the dying process. I felt a coldness that I tried to wrap my arms around that made my insides feel like an abyss, just empty death. This gave me a greater understanding of what death is, because this is actually the closest I've ever come to knowing it with myself. After I forgot what I was trying to understand, I came out of a deep thought by forgetting what I was thinking about. This is when I just enjoyed this awesome and fearful state with a foothold, and I was able to navigate it much better. I began to find very great meaning in everything that I've neglected to give deserved meaning to, most importantly, my own death. I don't want to die, and the reality that I've seen makes this acknowledgement very scary. The power that I've experienced, the only way that I can describe it is as being religious and extremely emotional. I was able to see into the details of perfection and understanding. It's like the smashing power of 5-MU DMT, but prolonged into an amazing trip that is possible enough to navigate with the most incredible visuals I've ever seen. I haven't yet tried DMT, but now it is at the top of my interest. 5-MeO has basically scared the shit out of me too much to want to go back to it that often, but this DPT has become my favourite drug I've ever had. I will know this drug as much as possible.
Sacred and Important, uploaded to Eerowid by Willy Will on July 10th, 2013. I've had a vial of DPT for about three months now and have used it four times. This specific instance describes my fifth experience. Two friends and I were on Cubensis and having a good time, and since they never had an experience with DPT, I wanted to show them. They'd both done DMT, but I didn't tell them what to expect with DPT. Little did I know that this would be my most intense experience with it so far. I cleared everything out of my room, turned on my ambient light, and played my spiritual DPT playlist. I laid out a 25mg, 40mg and 50mg line. 50mg was for me. They laid on my bed and I was flat on the floor. After 10 minutes, I laid another 10mg and railed it, and laid back down and closed my eyes. My spirit began to lose all sense of arrogance and ignorance. My character was non-existent. I became the student. Mushroom visuals moved aside as the DPT teacher took the stage. I opened my eyes to the ceiling where clear tentacle-like arms surrounded by light were reaching out for me, showing me that it was there. I closed my eyes again. The teacher takes full control by now, 30 minutes in, and the lesson has begun. We begin to telepathically communicate in tongue, mostly me asking who it was, but he just began without answering. First, he pulls my mind to the very beginning of my memories, shows me a slideshow of crystal clear images of key points in my life as if I was experiencing them again. The slideshow lasted for about five minutes. Second, the teacher decides to show me how my brain and body works. He brings me to the part of my brain that controls my heart function and says, watch this. I feel my heart beat twice irregularly and then return to normal. Without letting me think about the fact that I could have just died, he takes me to the part that controls my lungs. It begins to become impossible to breathe. Then, he lets it go back to normal. Third, he says now watch this, and pulls my spirit out of my body and takes his galaxies away. He points me to the entire scope of time, selects 5,000 years out of it, and stretches it out like an accordion to show me what it looks like. Impossible to comprehend, of course. And then he squeezes it back to its spot in the infinite timeline. Then, he takes me back to our current place in time and puts me back in my body for one last lesson. The teacher pulls a strand of DNA from my brain and brings it close to me so I can see the details. It is scrolling to the right as he explains that this is who I am and where I come from. I say okay. And then he goes on to split the strand apart, remove several nucleotides, and rearrange them and place them back, zipping the strand back together. I am now a different human being than I was. He sees that I am scared, so he unzips the strand again and puts the nucleotides back so my genetic structure is the same as before. This is what I can do. This is the power I have. Everything starts to fade and then I just sat there for about an hour, discussing the experiences we each had. I came to conclude with an explanation of the difference between DMT and DPT. DMT tells you, while DPT shows you. I don't know what they are exactly trying to teach, but I do learn every time. I definitely recommend DPT for someone who is experienced and is willing to surrender control.